Welcome back everybody to my Minecraft gameplay series. Today I'm going to be going over a little bit of the storage. Um, I, I don't remember how far I got in the last video that I did, um, but this is where we're at now. Um, I need to get some more diorite and, you know, make it the polished here. Um, still planning on making this a two-story building, so there should be another deck up here. And, uh... I think what I'll be doing is putting up a bunch of the crafting stations up here. Um, not quite sure. If you guys have any ideas or any, you know, feedback or anything like that, let me know. Uh, what I may actually do too is if I do move the iron farm over here, instead of it... Is there another traveling villager in here somewhere? Last time I was in here, I had two in here with me. Yep, there is one, okay. Um... I'm actually thinking about moving the iron farm from over here to above this. So I'm probably gonna build a second floor, like I said before. And then I'll I'll do the whole layout for the iron farm above that. Um, and then have that actually just, because what I have it doing is going, you know, um, hoppers into chests all the way down. Well, I can just have it go hoppers straight down and then into the final chest. Um, that way I can control you know, make sure that the stuff that's falling is going into the storage that I actually want. Um, and that way I can have it kind of come all the way down through, you know, both levels. And then what I'll do is, let's see here. I'll have it come down into like a set of these chests over here or something like that. You know, just some, have hoppers come all the way down and into a couple chests here or something like that. So we'll get that figured out. You, I wasn't asking you, but um, what I think I want to do is for like the first few rows of resources, it's going to be like three chests of dirt, three of cobblestone, three of diorite, three of granite, three of, you know, and do that whole kind of thing. Everything else really shouldn't, re shouldn't require three chests, except for maybe some of the farming stuff like, uh, oh, I get a lot of potatoes, a lot of carrots, stuff like that. And I can start filling that up, especially when I extend the farm out further. Um, that'll just give me, you know, room to grow as it were, uh, different types of meat and resources like that too as well. So that should work out a little better that way. Let's see here. Still got to fix this here. Get this all cleaned up. Um, I need to, let's see here. I've got one of the, uh, let's do this. I've got the mod that allows me to, yep. And not really a mod, but a plugin that allows for me to um, pull down shift and then mine the, the node and it pretty much pulls up the whole vein. And it's just called vein miner. So let's get this cleaned up a little bit more here, shall we? Gotta start getting this ready for the wall over on this side too. And then I also want to dig this up a little bit too, so I can lay dirt through here. Can I pick up that? Yeah, I sure did. Okay. Plus, uh, mining up all this here will give me more cobblestone for making more brick. So, always a plus. And I've got plenty of dirt to fill this all in. That is definitely not a concern. And I'm kind of curious, for those of you that play Minecraft, that have been watching my videos, um, have you guys seen or heard anything as far as when they're planning on having um, uh, the next uh, snapshot release? Not next snapshot, but the actual you know update itself. It'd be nice to get some information on that. I've, I've been working a new job. That's where I've been for the last few days. So I've not necessarily been able to uh, keep up on it as much as I want to. Okay, get that there. Ooh, that was a big one.
All right. Let's get some dirt and fill that in real quick. Drop off some cobblestone. Guess I'm just gonna drop these seeds in here for right now. I should probably make that for coal, but whatever. See, and I really was thinking about leaving the water, the extra water, the water holes <laughs> on my uh, area here, the compound as it were. But I'm kind of thinking that I want to fill them in. This one I may just fill in this line right here and leave like a pool. You shush before I stick you in this hole, okay? Let's see here. Do I want to fill this one in? Yeah, because I think I, what I want to do is I want to, um, you know, I'm not sure what I want to put over here. So far, I've, I've been okay with what I have laid out so far. Um, I'm just not honestly sure what else I could put over here. And there are other farms I want to do, so having more land would probably be a good idea to get prepped with. So we'll have to take a look and see here. Okay. this one in because this will definitely be more of a um, this will be more of just a production area farms and whatnot so that makes sense to get it all I could place the blocks properly What I may do too eventually is um, when I get this all laid out with the, the structures and the buildings and the way that I want to have things done, I could very well just, uh, is this the line here? Yeah, that'll be the line there. Um, you know, after I get this all figured out uh, as far as how I want to have buildings and stuff, I could always come back through and put in like, you know, channels of water everywhere and stuff. I mean, it doesn't mean I could really do anything, quite honestly. Okay, get all this here. And I know I don't need to have multiple layers of dirt in order to, you know, have grass and all that other fun stuff. Anything will grow on just a single layer of dirt. Um... But uh, I'm doing this just so I can use up a lot of the extra dirt that I have and get as much rock as I can, or as much cobblestone, really. Picked up here. I 
no, this is not what I'm planning on doing the whole time that I do this video. I'm just kind of wanting to get some of this carved out so we can get some more stone cooking. Just throw this down here, shall we? Now, if, if any of you guys that have been playing Minecraft know of any other farms that I should make, that are, at least that I can make here, at, you know, at the compound, um, let me know. Um, you know, other resource farms or stuff like that. That was the one. Yeah, of course that is. There we go. Go like that. Because that will be the bottom layer of the wall, pretty much. Let's do this. Really? Okay, that wasn't annoying. Um, I don't like that. Because the wall will come right there and then it will go down that line or this line so my measurement was off anyway so let's do this there's that that okay so now we know as i cut myself out there's that all right go over here And go like this over here. Okay, there's that. And then follow this wall down. Not that. So in this one, I'm just kind of getting everything kind of stenciled out. Um, that'll have all brick in there. And then I'll have to just carve all of this out, of course. Uh, let's see about getting this finished up here. You don't need that. There we go. Get that all done there. And that would just be a little bit more of a smooth area out here, especially for walking around. Now, of course, the one thing I have to go and do, too, as well, is... Is there really still two of you guys in here, or is it just the one? Nope, just the one, okay. At least for now that I see. You shut up. So... Yeah, yeah, I hear you, ladies. So I'm going to have to do this pretty much around all of my fenced areas. Because what I saw earlier this morning is that what I didn't want to have happen... Why are you attacking the horse? Will you kindly piss off? Um, not really attacking the horse, but whatever. Kind of being a bully. Um, yeah, dipstick over here fell in. So, I need to, um, see about putting up double fence around everything. Well, at least around things that have high posts like this that can't happen. So, let's see what happens here. All right, so... Either that or I'm just going to have to move this. And actually, I may even do that because if I can actually get a tall variant of the jungle tree or uh, the spruce, what mind building some like a tree house thing that goes around the property? That'd be kind of cool too. have it above the wall. And that way I can always, you know, overlook my walls. Um, yeah, that'd just be really kind of bad if I was to fall a lot. <laughs> I still need to finish making the barn for the cows. Um, I need to make one in here for these guys, for my more rare animals, which will I'll end up expanding that, at least some. Um, just because I plan on going out and finding more stuff to have there too as well, so. Got plenty of sheep. You know, it seems like they've multiplied since I was last on. It's it's almost been a week since I've actually been on. I've, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with the new job and everything. Holy cat. Okay. They love that corner. Let's see, and how are we doing up this way? Still good, hey? Okay. 
Uh, I gotta think what I'm gonna do with these trees. I really want a really tall tree. I want as tall as it, it is a grow it is it will grow because I can only talk this morning. Don't mind me, folks. There's that. And there's that. Okay. Give me all your saplings. Actually, I should have cut one down and then done the other. Unless I have four saplings already, at least I can keep the mark of where these two trees are at. No, but what I can do, I th think... I should have thought that out better. More wood. Um, let's see here. You know, and I may actually just do um, jungle trees because they actually grow there, or they at least grow with the vine on them. So you can use that as the ladder to get up the tree. So, what is that? That is four. So that gives me enough for one. So now the question is do I cut down the spruce? And do jungle tree all the way around? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Because I think if I do that, I'm going to want to, um, you know, I think I'm going to hold off because, <clears throat> excuse me, I think in holding off, the main reason being is that uh, this way, when I get the wall finished and I start planting these trees, I can set them back just a little bit. And then I can actually have, you know, a, a system to go between all the trees going around the foundation here, as long as I have space. Kind of, over there, it's going to get a little limited because of the way the farms are all laid out. And I may even move the farms over here, too. That way, they're a little more out of the way from the actual main, you know, home area itself. So, um, but if I do that and have the trees connected, hmm, that may work. That'll definitely prolong how long... I consider myself, you know, done with the, the homestead area. Um, but at least by, you know, getting the pathway done, getting the inside wall done, moving the farms, I'll have plenty of space between the building here and the wall. So that's not a concern. When I move the iron farm, I'll have space over there. It's really just where the pigs, the cows, and the sheep are that may be a little bit of an issue. Um... I just don't know how far apart I want to space the trees when I get them planted. Um, I'll have to kind of look at it and do some math and see. I'm, I'm one of those weird that I'm kind of, you know, I want to have a bit more OCD kind of appeal. Um, I want to have an even layout of trees. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that part out. Let's see here. Gotta go lay down. Yeah, yeah. It's nap time. Leave me alone. Oof. I should have just more beds, you know, <laughs> laid throughout the whole property here. Yeah, you shush. Okay, let's see here. Alright, and yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing anything else that's dropping here. Let's take a look. Okay, and then what I can do is, uh, you know, let's just do this. Let's uh, finish at least one thing, or at least attempt to finish one thing that I've started here. Um, I know I definitely have plenty of iron. That is not going to be a concern, that's for sure. Oh god, look, there's more dirt. Oh, you know what, I can actually start moving this stuff over in the other bins here. So let's do this. I mean, I'm just all over the place this morning, and I do apologize. But let's take a look at this real quick. So we'll do that there. We'll put coal here. And then we'll put wood temporarily here. I mean, that's jungle wood. I'm going to have a lot of that anyways. Wood and saplings. There we go. Um, so wood, stone, that, that. Put that here. Let's put the seeds in here. Go like that. I don't think... Oh, yeah. But when I go to move this one... See, and then with all the mining I've been doing too, I've got a bunch of the uh, redstone dust, which will definitely fill up a lot too. So, 
Uh, dirt over here. See, and then what I also want to do is I want to make those little signs uh, that you can put on the chests, and that way I can, you know, kind of organize my whole layout, like have a picture of a dirt here, a picture of, you know, cobblestone here, and that way I know where stuff is at. And that just makes it look better too as well, so. Um, let's see. You're not nearly close to being full. <laughs> Actually, if I wanted to be smart of it, or smart about it, because I'm still waking up, I would um, take and put... Don't want to put meat in there. Put all my dirt in here. Cobblestone. Diorite. Yeah, I got to that stuff. Yay, fun times. I've not come across um, coarse dirt yet to where I actually have a bunch of it, so I don't see myself needing a spot for it. It may just get dumped in the dirt itself. Uh, let's see here. Let's click this. And site. This would probably be diorite. This would be marble or granite, I mean. I need that. And then we'll put charcoal here. Or coal there. Sorry, not charcoal. There's that and that. <clears throat> then what I may do is put a few chests over here that have all my personal items in it. Uh, like, you know, the extra rope and tools and stuff like that. That way it's just kind of all located in one spot. Um, yeah, I may do that. Let's see, do I have any more diorite? Because I kind of want to finish this inside floor. Well, now, that's a thought that I just had. What if I was to, instead of putting crafting tables all in the middle here, I could put crafting tables up on the second floor. What if I was to carve this out and do something with granite and diorite and kind of make it like a, I really hate it when I do that. <laughs> um, I can make do with granite um maybe some andesite and then do some fountains on the inside and then i could yeah, that's what i'll do because then i can get some glowstone and i can do some um lanterns yeah that's what i'll do so now what i need to find though is going to be one the bed two i have to go farm some sand you that door drives me crazy man Open up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I gotta figure out over here where I wanna do my main wall. Oh, you know what? Let's see how much iron we've accumulated so far. I'm sure there's a bunch in here. <laughs> yup. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Well, that's definitely efficient. Anyone over here want to play? No? Okay. Good. So, uh, let's go look for some sand. Oh, there's some. Didn't really want that, but whatever. See, I have so much. So much um, gravel over here. I don't, I don't understand. This whole mountain range over here is just like, it's just gravel heaven, man. That's fine. You know, if you want to bring Enderman over here, I kind of need Enderman in order to get to, you know, the end. And I've... I've only seen maybe two Endermen here. Um, so it does not make it easy for me to get the eyes or the hearts or whatever it is so I can start getting prepared to go to the end. And I rarely ever see them out in um, the nether. How much does that? Oh, yeah, I get a lot more.
There we go. freaking out. Oh, I'm getting there. Wouldn't mind having a little bit more sand. Definitely give me plenty of sand to at least last me for a while. At least a little while. Including the uh, sandstone, is it sandstone or I just forget what that is. Oops. Oi. Okay, well that worked too. What is that? Sandstone. Okay. Oh, I gotta go start hunting some spiders with my shovel here so I can heal it. I got Bane of Anthropods, and then I've got, <laughs> got Fire one, I think, on it. That way it kills spiders pretty quick, and it sets them on fire if it doesn't hit, kill them in one, one hit. And then that way I can just pick up the experience and heal my shovel. Efficient little sand farm there for at least a little bit, until I need a lot more. <laughs> I don't really don't plan on doing a whole lot with uh, glass, but it doesn't hurt to have, that's for sure. Plus, I still plan on kind of, you know, making a pathway going out to the water and kind of having it be a secured transportation, as it were. Uh, I may do like what Dr. Lupo did, and I may... Yeah, where are you? I heard you. Okay. Any hoozle, I may carve this out and have some kind of canal that actually ties into uh, the base here. And then that way I can, you know, just do simple things. Travel back and forth to the water when I want. Fence it all off. That way things don't fall into the water like they always do on Dr. Lupo's streams. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, do all kinds of different things. All right, guys. Well, as I head back to the main homestead here, I think I'm actually going to call this into the video. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's been come by watching my videos. You know, don't hesitate to, you know, say hi or leave comments, do whatever, ask me questions or tell me I'm doing something wrong. Please, by all means, you know, um, let me know. I want to learn more on Minecraft and do more with it. Um, I got to get a farmer for this thing here. Um, you know, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will uh, chat with you guys all tomorrow. Have a good day.